went to the dentist, I had to have one of my teeth pulled, and it was not fun. I had to have a crown fixed, so... I hear that. Alright, so... When we last left off... You guys paid 40 gold for somebody to watch the ship for 20 days. It has now been 10 days. So, you only got 20, 10 more days left on that payment. We did that. We took care of that at the end. I sent a pretzel quaddle with uh, 50 yes. more gold. Yes, I see that there in the bottom notes. Yes. Uh, you ha happen to gain... To uh, offer a... F uh, okay. You happen to offer a favor to an unknown being of unknown power. Uh, you headed out into the water and then got stopped by a storm at one point. And while looking around, you realized that the storm was surrounding a guy that was seemingly walking on his own through the, through the jungle. You went and con confronted him and started realizing this isn't an ordinary guy. This is uh, an Empyrean. Uh, I can't pronounce it properly. But basically, the child of a god, uh, with a, with a lot of storm-related power. Uh, a powerful and nope. And literally scared the out of run. Yeah. <laughs> Set, run, running. Run, uh, run, run! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you nuped out of there. Uh, so eventually, uh, you did send the fifty gold back to to the ship to extend the time since once you realize after the 10 days that yeah you hadn't quite reached your your the location you need to get to yet so there's no way it's going to take you only 10 days to get back and run uh, headed into camp vengeance it looks like everyone except for Nguyen and Aria head into camp vengeance the, the, the fur bug stayed outside yeah Yep. It is now uh, feasting mm -hmm. six. What would you like to do? Okay. Um. Well, as I said in the uh, downtime thing, I've been whenever we weren't on the water and when we'd set up for camp, Run would work on his uh, gnomish design crossbow. All right. So we will take that as it is, but uh, with Run going into Camp Vengeance, he is wanting to find out any information he can about the uh, jungle heading uh, north. What oh, to, I never what read to, that. It, you, uh, you rolled well on the, uh, on the Camp Vengeance rumors, but yes. I can't tell if that's a six or a nine. Was that 66 uh, or 96? My writing is horrible. 69. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it didn't end with a 9. It definitely ended with a 6. <laughs> Couldn't resist, my bad. I know, <laughs> I know. Nobody can resist. Uh, th did I tell you the story that another game, uh, the, uh, the wizard and the monk rogue triggered a trap. The monk rogue, of course, managed to... To, to roll really well and use evasion, get take no damage. The wizard rolled horribly, took sixty nine damage, and immediately went into death saves. And he still said nice. <laughs> <laughs> Worth. <laughs> yeah. Th then he woke up with crushed feet, and he's, he's now in a spider chair. Jesus. Hey, if you he's gotta the wizard. Go he's fine with it. If you gotta go out. <laughs> if I don't go out by 69 damage I'm not accepting it <laughs> <laughs> I will come back and haunt you the only thing better than 69 damage is 420 damage <laughs> yes well that would be instant the death fuck we're going to find that that amount of damage I don't know but yes <laughs> oh I could think of a few things that could do that you wouldn't want to encounter them see <laughs> Okay, so what kind of information does Run find out? All right. Uh, so with that sort of information, 
you do discover that, uh, yes, indeed, somewhere to the north, marked on your map, uh, is a strange uh, statue-like thing. Uh, it's also reported that around the feet of the statue-like thing, there are often small trinkets, uh, occasionally the freshly, a freshly killed animal, or, like, you know, some sort of scrap of paper of barely, le you know, barely legible writing on it. No. So, someone seems to be using it as some sort of altar, is what the person telling you this is has come to the conclusion of. Okay, uh, do we know how tall it is? Uh, let me double check on that. In terms of height... Eight foot tall. Humanoid. Bronze. Oh, okay. Uh, bronze fists, iron joints, and adamantine breastplate. And an iron helmet. But there's a bunch of wood on it as well. Well, it's a good thing we got the ball of fun. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so with that, I will uh, relay it to the crew that are at least in side camp vengeance. And then if we plan on camping the night, I will take another couple hours and work on the crossbow. I think me and Torn were doing something, but I don't remember what it was. <laughs> Obviously not important. Sure. Camping for the night. Are you guys staying at Camp Vengeance or are you moving off into the, into the jungle? Um, we might camp just outside of Camp Vengeance, you know, keep, uh, Nguyen and, uh, Arya company. Well, it kind of smells pretty bad out there with the decaying corpses. Decaying corpses? Oh, lovely. Yeah, that they're decaying so corpses of, un uh, uh, of undead that have been subsequently destroyed, uh, there are other creatures, like the occasional sauropo you know, uh, the occasional saurian that seems to have wandered into the pit traps around and have died on them. As a result, there are a lot of flies in the area and a terrible odor. The walls themselves seem to block it out, so the people inside the camp aren't, aren't getting really affected by this, but anyone standing outside the camp is getting affected. Okay, so that was some bit of information we didn't have last time. Sorry, I thought I'd read that last time. Nope. Probably. I don't uh, know. might have. It's been a couple weeks. Yeah. Well, I thought last time we'd been here, which was several months ago. I said, Aria's staying out there because the last time she went to Camp Vengeance, she got yelled at. She ain't about that life. <laughs> <laughs> well, just don't heal the goats. You're asking me, a druid, to not <laughs> kill the animals? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. You know absolutely nothing about my character, then. <laughs> oh, I know plenty about your character. Then you would know she would heal the goats. Run is always in the corner while, while she sleeps, taking... I mean, uh... <laughs> <laughs> every You're being watching you your sleep, make, baby. every breath you take, I'll giggity, be watching giggity, you. you. Giggity, giggity, goo. <laughs> I think we need to tie this gnome up. We can't. We've already established this. <laughs> hey, just imagine if he had the uh, ring of free movement. Worse, what if, what if you ended up with the uh, cloak of invisibility? There's currently a, a gnome on Alaris that's, who's wearing the cloak of invisibility. Ooh. He's uh, across the ocean at the moment, to the well, to the east, but he is don't, here. 
Oh no! I wait, no, he's not. Sorry, he, he's he's sorry. I forgot. He he's now in Arkenfeld, which is uh, northeastern Meeg. Chris, yes. what are you doing? Stop putting bad ideas in his head. The ones already in there don't need company. <laughs> well, he would need. It would need to be a PvP in order to get it, since that's another player in a game. Hey, when I can get another second level spell, I know what spell I'd be getting too. What, see invisibility? No, actually, uh, there there is a. I'm guessing it's be out uh, from uh, Tasha's. Uh, okay. It's a level two spell to. Uh, what was it? Um, can't think of the name, but what it does is for one minute, you can summon three familiars. If you already have a familiar by the uh, find familiar spell, it only grants you two more. I remember that spell from somewhere. Just realized that now that he has invisibility, I'm gonna have to catch fairy fire. Every night before I go to sleep. Just in case. Well, you see, there's one little thing though. He doesn't even have to be in the same room. Also, make sure that there's no spots that a fucking demon weasel could get into. <laughs> Wait, never demon mind. Weasel. You can just poof it out of existence and bring it back. <laughs> We're far too powerful. <laughs> I'm an evil genius. Okay. Like just have fog that can block all vision. Holy shit, he speaks. Hey, Torin. What? So, what are you guys doing for, for the for the evening? Are you heading into the into the jungle, or are you staying out there? I guess far enough away that we don't smell the corpses, but I um, imagine uh, we're not going to be able to get Aria to agree to go into conventions, so... Uh, here's my question. Is there anything that we need to stock up on before we head out? More intel. Um, if you want more intel, uh, roll an investigation. I want to learn, like, the layout of where this thing is a tactical advantage is here. Let's see if I can do that. Oh. Yeah, I ain't learned shit. Yeah, you don't learn anything anything new. And neither does run. I rolled a fourteen. Hang on, me and Torin were together at one point, so Ted, never mind, I rolled a fucking four. Which Plus my investigation, which isn't going to be very much yet. No, six total. Max, I need to clip your claws occasionally. Actually, let me rephrase that. Oh. It was a, uh, let's see. Eleven. That's what I rolled. You were rolling roll so well earlier. I rolled a uh, four, and I got a plus seven to investigation. I figure out something. Maybe. Right. Well, you guys don't learn anything more about Vorn. So, from my previous role, I didn't get what kind of uh, creatures might be in that area. Uh, they were never observed by the people who observed things that were left at Vorn. Okay. Uh, Could I make a nature check to see if I would know what animals would be around here at least? Sure. Uh, Maria almost... has given everyone some salve against the bu uh, bug repellent salve since we're surrounded by flies. So, I've had to minus that out. Vax, I need my- you can't sit on my- my- that- ah! <laughs> no sit- sitting on my- my controller. 18. Right. So, with that, it's like, you know, you, like, you got the insects, uh, you got various dinosaur species that you've seen around, 
what other cool things might you find out there in the desert and the jungle? Uh, you might see some large apes, uh, more axe beaks, um, probably some flying monkeys. Me Maybe some giant four-armed gorillas. Ooh, that'd be cool. Maybe the occasional... Uh, Maybe some more of the panther creatures. And some weird snakes. Lots of snakes. And bats. Any of, any of you ever watched Ben 10? What was that, Ron? Any of you ever watched Ben 10? Mm -hmm. I used to. I, yeah, I do, but I don't remember much of it. I, I would watch it because my brother would watch it and I never had control of the remote growing up. When she said forearm gorillas, it reminded me of Spider Monkey. Ah. <laughs> now, that would actually be a pretty cool uh, magic item. Yeah, I'll warn the rest of the group about all the different things and just keep an ear out for those. Oh, Grizz, real quick about the question earlier. I was meaning to ask how many hours would it be to work on it? I don't know. Uh, okay. You, that, we, we, I thought you, I, I told you 10 days and you said two hours per day, so. Yeah, that's what I was. It would be 20 hours. But you don't have a, a, a workshop or anything like that. You don't have, you just have yourself tinkering. So yeah, that's that pretty much. difficult. Alright, so, you find a campsite without any problem, uh, nothing seems to be stalking you at the moment. Yay! Woo! Alright, uh, while we sleep, I could always have, uh, Flu help keep watch. Could we just lose? Ash. Right. Probably was too tired. She had mentioned that earlier. And you guys are already down a player. This is not good. Oof. No, it is not. Hmm. We'll see how far we get. Okay. Well, like I said, uh, while we sleep, I can have Blue help keep watch since uh, familiars usually don't need to sleep. Yeah, I'll take first watch. And trying to get my character sheet up, so perception. Fuck. Math. One, two, three. For perception. What about you, Torin? Torin. Did we lose someone else? Ah, good. I was about to say, did we lose somebody else to, to sleep? We all roll perception, or just those on watch? Uh, um, I was asking if Torin was going to be on watch or not, and Torin will be a perception, so I assume yes. I think everyone, Aria will probably be on watch then, and I'll roll. Okay, like I said, uh, Luke will be on watch, and he got a three. Yeah, he really doesn't care for for, for watches. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, eh. As long as they don't go near run, everyone else in this party can die. <laughs> Pretty much.
Hey, I'm clear. <sighs> All right. The night is uneventful. All right. Oh, oh, bless you. <laughs> Sorry. All right. All right. I'm going to imagine that run will help take lead. Well, you are the charisma of the group. Lord yeah, knows I don't happens. fucking have any. <laughs> so... I will roll my perception as we... Well... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 on perception. As we travel the next day. Alright. You hear the, oca the occasional call of birds and the occasional piece of fruit falling from a tree, but you don't find, run into anything significant. Okay. Now we're we just looking for the what? Oops. <laughs> You're just making your way towards where the statue is on the map. The statue. Mm-hmm. Okay. Making our way. The girl has ruined me. <laughs> <laughs> So next day. You want me to go ahead and roll perception for kind of keeping an eye out? Sure. Go for it. Oof. Oof. Yeah, a piece of fruit falls off, a f falls down from a tree and splatters on your head. <laughs> you did not see that coming. Yeah, I, I I I rolled for run as well. The fruit actually is is like a helmet on top of Run's head. <laughs> I got a one. Oof! <laughs> it's very tart. <laughs> Walk over and pick up Run. Hold him under my arm. Use my other hand. Just. Pull the fruit off his head for him. He's just kind of like, ah. He's just trying to pick a splatter fruit out from her hair. Jasper will help her try to get it all out of her fur and her hair. Would roll, but we've already had two roll for it, so. <laughs> Shit. That was unintentional. It fell out of my hand. <laughs> Alright, so. Do we need to roll for the night? If you wish. Let's hope my rolls are a little better. Uh, <laughs> 16 for perception. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I rolled an 18 plus 6 on my perception. So that's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. You stare into the night and don't 
see anything of significance. The occasional fla night blooming flower blooms out and spreads its pollen, but other than that, there's no disturbance anywhere. No animals coming to eat you, no one dead, no people attacking. Alrighty. Alright. Okay, guys. Um, I, so, we sh should be getting into the area soon. So, make sure you keep an eye out. Area will not. Yeah. Oh, and when we had stopped for camp, like, like the night before, after the day I got spiral fruit, I would have used uh, produced water to give myself an impromptu shower. <laughs> Since I have soap, I can wash the fruit out of my hair. Sing it in the rain. Good stuff. <laughs> so, here's what you see during the day is once you find what you're looking for. Standing next to some rocks and ferns is an eight-foot-tall statue, humanoid, in shape with bronze fists, iron joints, and adamantine breastplate, and an iron helm with slits for eyes. The rest of the statue is made of sculpted wood reinforced with bands and rivets of adamantine. Scattered around its feet are offerings of food, feathers, colored stones, and skulls. All right. Uh, um, maybe I should uh go up and have a look around it. Um, uh, you guys stay here for just a moment. Give me then, an arcana uh, check if you wish to inspect the uh, the statue. Give me a survival check if you wish to search the area. Okay. Arcana or Tinker War? Arcana. Okay, because... Because, uh... With me being a rock dome, Artificer's War gives me... That this little... is Arcana. Yeah, I was just... That's the reason I was asking to make sure. Uh, okay. Had to find what my... Uh, 14. <laughs> Alright. So you look it over and quickly realize this is a, uh, a shield guardian. And shield guardians have uh, control amulets. But looking around, uh, you don't see a control amulet in the general facility vicinity. Okay, I will roll a survival as well. Mm -hmm. I'll and... assist on that to help him look around. Uh, will that... Can I go ahead and roll survival too to look around? Yes. Yes, please do, because I rolled a seven. I Ar so you Aria, you, quick, you, you quickly find footprints that you're certain belong to goblins. You also see footprints of several other creatures, but the goblins are, are clear to you since you were raised around goblins. You also, Go as you... Uh, Arya? Sorry, continue. You also, as you're looking at the, the offerings, you realize that some of these, you know, kind of remind you of what you saw in those goblins that you saw before. Uh, the ones that you convinced to leave you guys alone. Mm -hmm. uh, some, of the the, the, some of the carvings just remind you of that. Like, this is definitely something holy to them. Okay. Um. Well, Aria's going to mention to the group about the goblins, but it's like, and she adds, like, speak goblin. Maybe we can talk to them. See if they know anything. Just it kind of pinches the bridge of his nose, like, oh, it would have to be goblin. Goblins. They always make a mess of things. 
my big brother and sister are goblins. Mm. We'll, we, we'll just say that they're the exception. <laughs> it just kind of blinks. <sighs> Anyways, well, I guess we need to find that control amulet. Um... Oh, uh, uh, hmm. You know, if memories, who, who's got the static on? Not sure. I hear it too. Jasper. That's my fucking air conditioner. I'm about to drop kick it through a wall. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It turns goodness. off and then it turns right back on. Anyways, uh, well, well, if memory serves correctly. Okay, there we there, go. That should help. With there being a control amulet, that would mean that someone has to be controlling it. And if it's goblins, I would, I would bet a copper to a gold that the that there would be a shaman that would have it. kind of taps her fingers like, well, if we take their, their, if we ask for the amulet, we should probably give them something that's better, you know? By the way, Arya, hmm? uh, based on your survival role, you could tell that this thing has not moved in a long time. All Looks right. like it's been there for decades. Alright, I'm going to also look at her around like, but they might not have it, or if they have it, they're not using it. It hasn't moved. And they seem to be using it as a shrine. Okay, I would like to use my artificer's lore. And, uh... I uh, Tinker's knowledge to take a look at this thing a little bit closer to see if it's... Even in the condition to move. All right, make a roll. Um, which one should I roll for, artificer lure or whichever one you, lore? whichever one you prefer? Okay, well, let's see. They are both the same, so it doesn't really matter. So, uh, eighteen. All right. So you take a look at it. And realize that the the metal joints and whatnot are made out of non-corrosive metal. So even though it's been sitting there for a long time, once the control am amulet is um, reused, the only thing that's at all damaged is the iron helmet. Uh, that's corroded a bunch, but the adamantine? No, that stuff's still good to go. Okay, how about the, uh, is there a hatch to look at the inside uh, it doesn't appear to have anything like that that oh. static still happening because i see my thing lighting up sometimes i'll hear not it as, not as much yeah it's a lot better hey, i'm gonna take it i'm gonna take a different approach on this i want to make a religion check to see if through these offerings and whatnot, they're left here. See if they're using this as an altar, or if they're treating this statue itself like a god. All right, go for it. Fuck. Uh, if we try to steal their god, they're gonna be pissed. <laughs> I like that laugh, Chris. <laughs> well, there is a uh, a big block of text in here that basically t says what happens when this. Or if you, if you get this thing moving. Oh, great. <laughs> what we do is we convince them that the god that there is a great evil plaguing this land and their god must go to to uh vanquish it. So that they can be success, you know. Anyone else want to make that religion roll? Sure. Sure. Why not even though I have plus zero to religion. 17. 9. All right. So yeah, you, Jasper, you take a look at this and go and realize 
Oh crap! The uh, the th these offerings, the the way they're displayed, and the, the way that the area, especially from different cultures, or if we put things around this, this is some kind of um, lesser god to them. And more to the point, this appears to be that being a place being used as like a sacred meeting place, like a uh, a neutral zone between tri between potentially warring tribes. Where they come and, and, and stand before this god, make offerings, and talk peacefully without fear of, you know, attacking each other. Yeah, I'll definitely tell the group about that and just be like, well, um, I have a feeling if we try to take this thing, we're going to piss off quite a few goblins. Ooh, and, run. um, you and do this carefully. You see Run pinching his nose even pinching the bridge of his nose as he tries to think and think and think. Okay, so... My question real quick for Grizz. Um, if I were wanting to see if I can compare this thing to, like, one of the Norse gods, would that be another religion check? Ah, uh, sure. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. If this were a Norse god, what god would that be? Uh, I'm checking my list. Just give okay. me a second. I was gonna say my my just thought process on it would be if it's there for like a neutral zone between war and factions, I would think Tyr, the Norse god of justice. Hmm. The only problem with that is that uh, it doesn't have a symbol of tear. It doesn't have a sword right. symbol. It has more of a uh, shield type symbol on it. Yeah, I tell him that this is a so yeah wh shield well, guardian. Yeah, wh well, you might think that you know for a moment that uh, maybe tear, but it's like you look around and no nothing that looks at all like a sword. Oh no, that was my just out of player thought process. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, still if it, if it had a, if it had a sword, I would definitely be there be there with you and but there's there's a uh, no imagery that would go along with the with the idea of tear. Yeah, I don't think it would have been an uh, ace here, but the, uh, oh, I can't even think of that other class of gods. Um, so, uh, Ari's going to look to the party and like, so do we leave it here? Oh, people well, are touchy with their gods. Unfortunately, a contract is a contract. Oh. Run keeps thinking and thinking, and he will. He will try a religion check as well, and not to compare this one to another god but well i guess kind of to compare it to another god like since it since we've seen goblin footprints well i mean if, it, if it's got the shield i could use the valkyries and not necessarily a god but still part of the religion well as if aria said it, everything that i told told her she would have definitely said lesser god anyway. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, Valkyrie should be like right on spot then. Well, would Valkyrie really be a lesser god though? They were technically treated as lesser Aethnir. Okay. Since um, they were the ones of protection of warriors on their way to Valhalla. I have a total of 20.
Uh, and what's the check record in, in, going into? Uh, religion. Um, what what goblin god would this be compared to? Hmm. Let me look that up. Uh. Well, as it is, uh, for that religion check, you realize that uh, the goblins only have really one god because that god came in and killed all of the others. Uh, so, uh, a, a, the, that god is all about warfare and subjugation and everything like that. So, uh, no, their religion is worse than Norse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, their, their religion basically deals with the idea that their god came in and destroyed all the other... The, the, hobgo- the god of the hobgoblins came in and killed all the other goblin gods and forced all the other goblinoids to worship that god, their god. So, so, they're actually more like, you know, uh, monotheistic religions. Real quick, uh, the check that Arya made, was it only goblin prints that was found, or were there other types? If, if she told you everything that I told her, she would have mentioned that goblins were in there, but there's also other creatures, too, that she didn't necessarily recognize. Okay, so... Uh... Maybe Run can do a nature check. Since you failed to actually see them, and you're having a hard time just deciphering them as it is, that would be with a disadvantage. Okay. Because, I mean, when it comes to footprints, it's not just a matter of somebody pointing them out to you. Footprints are very hard to, to, to discern, even when somebody is pointing them out to you. So. Okay, with a disadvantage, I have a 14. All right. You don't think you've ever seen anything leaving prints like that. Um, Maria's going to tap her cheek and say, like, Well, I could follow the footprints and maybe try to convince them that it's time for this god to move on if we can find the control amulet. Uh, yeah, that's going to be the problem. That might be easier coming from... We're going to talk to Shaman. It might be easier to have someone that is... could be titled as a shaman and other... True, man. Yeah, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Well, this is what I know. There's um, two races that knows about um, uh, uh, technology when it comes down to it. And that would be my race and goblins. Uh, GM correction. Goblins on this roll are not known for that sort of thing. Okay, I redact that then. I was say either way. I was gonna say at this point, anyways, on other worlds, some of them are, but not this one. Yeah, and at this point, with the current situation, this is going to be more of a religion-based thing, not a technology-based. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Rhea speaks goblin. That's why she thinks I. Well, me, the player, I think if we can get her to kind of dress up, get a good perform. You know, get some help with a good performance because I have a pl- only plus one. Maybe or, we can convince them that I am a sir, I am a sent messenger of their god, and he needs to go. And he expects them to keep the holy peace, you know, left in in his wake, and he will be back. And if they have annihilated each other, he will be very displeased. Or <laughs> we go the more safer route, use you as a translator. While the cleric talks to the shaman. If only I had gotten the, uh, uh, tongue scroll. I just had a... Hang on, let me see if I can prepare, but if I know tongues. I don't think we do. No, I don't. Well, the only problem with that... Is that you would think a divine um, messenger would be able to speak their tongue. Exactly. 
Which is why I say let's, you know, try and dress Aria up. Yeah, my idea was to actually make it like the thing itself was coming to life and speaking. Don't you have a, like a furbolg thing that you can cast disguise self? Only to make myself taller or smaller. Uh, so I can put myself to three feet. But, you know, I still would be a small fur blog. Just make yourself super fucking tall and imposing. Ten feet? Except that's appearance. I only look ten feet. I'm not actually ten feet. No. I said we get me a dark, a dark cloak. If we set fire to it, then we do the whole Dread Pirate Roberts. I am the Dread Pirate Roberts. Then we'll be no, no survivors. Well, the GM loves that one. <laughs> Either way, we're we're going fifty-fifty. This goes good or bad. So I'm not going to be part of this discussion. I have a negative one charisma. It's a fucking miracle I got a boyfriend in this game. So <laughs> y'all figure it out. All I'm saying, like the last conversation we had, I mean, lying like I have can be worse than. I have conjure minor elemental, so we could do that. You know, kind of. You know, I could conjure them, but that's a concentration spell, so it only works for an hour. Hang on, you listen, bitch. You're the one that lied. I was the one that said honesty is the best policy. I mean, you're right, but. Well, you could enhance ability me on, like, charisma rolls. I don't have it prepared. Can I cast it as a ritual? Um, no, but you can, as druids, we can prepare our spells daily. So you I can know. see, so you could ask the Grizz if you could have retconned it since we did spend a few days traveling here. This is true, but also yeah, you can have we didn't anything know you wanted this was even going to be a thing with the whole religion and us having to discuss it until right now. Okay, anyways. That's going to be a hard pass on a retcon. If Grizz, if you'll allow it, then can I do that? Uh, well, you've had several days to repair, and you were told back at the uh, Camp Vengeance uh, that there were offerings left at the statue. So anything that relates to that, you could have easily done um, it on your way here. Okay, so yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Then it has ability. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, Arya. Since you're the one that had noticed the uh, uh, the uh, footprints, um, do you think it would be possible to um, um, see where they all go? Play. Uh, can I go start following the footprints? Sure. Uh, there are footprints leading in multiple directions. Um, even the goblin the ones. The goblin ones. You see, the goblin ones are mostly heading east and north. All right, I'm going to look around. Like, which one do we want to hit first, east or north? Uh, um, actually, uh, let's not do the goblin ones. Uh, let's find out. Who those belong to? What about the other way. ones? The non ones. Can you repeat that? I think my sound dropped. Uh, what about the non-goblin footprints? Do I know where they're leading? Uh, let's see. Uh, you see some heading to the southeast, others to the west. Uh... And that appears to be the, the main directions that those other ones are heading. So basically, any direction you want to go. And I let them know. South, uh, south, S, and... Well, yeah. Sorry. Well, uh, heading south would take us back towards, uh... Uh... Where it just came from? Mm-hmm. So maybe the other ones? The ones, I think, what? East? Roll for it. 
roll a d8. <laughs> Six. Six. Uh, that would pro. That would be like. Uh, west. Or yeah, uh, southwest. So, what is your choice? Well, it, I guess we could try the west ones. Those head towards the uh, Miss Cliff Mountains. The west ones were the... My brain just totally quit on me. It was the, the non-goblin ones, right? Correct. Yes. Alright, yeah. Well, let's head west. Head west. <laughs> head west, my boy. Head west, a young man. <laughs> Alrighty. And you see, Run pull out a uh, a very odd looking thing that he presses a button on. Here, west bounding down, loaded up and trucking. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, All right. So let's, uh... the next day, as you head uh, to, you know, or heading west, give me a second. Need to make a roll. I need to not drop my dice. I don't think I've ever rolled that before. Uh oh. It was good or bad? Uh, Probably bad. Uh, I don't like find it. Out. <laughs> Yay. I'm and, bad. I, and I roll a 17 on perception. All right. Let's see if that'll help. Sounds bad. Hi, Bella. So, as you're traveling on this day, you happen to gorse, gaze up into the trees and you see what looks like small bears looking down at you, baring their teeth. Small bears? Watch out, it's drop bears. Oh, oh God. Just you as see, bad. <laughs> you, you see a few of them looking down at you from the trees. Oh, oh, God. I rolled double sixes. That's 12. There's 12 of them scattered throughout the trees, staring down at you, growling. Are you fucking kidding me? What do you wish to do? Can I use ca can I ca cast uh, Speak of Animals and say hello, friends? Wait, Technically, no, I... they're monstrosities. Oh, okay, so they wouldn't understand me. All right. Well, occasionally I'll play, uh, you know, uh, I will hand wa wave something, th things like that. Like, I believe the cats are also monstrosities. Uh, these ones are definite monstrosities and don't have uh, the ability to be co contacted through bestial means. Right. Or at least if they do, they're not responding to you and you don't understand them. Okay. I'm going to roll a nature check on them. Same. Yeah. Uh, can and... I roll insight? I'll kind of see if I can notice their body language. You know, with their for it. 14. And my nature is... Oh. Okay. Uh, That'll be an 18 on nature. Alright. Rolled higher than the druid, at least. So, there you go. Well... You're not entirely sure where they fit into nature, uh, because again, monstrosities. Uh, you get the feeling that these th th that these things are trying to threaten you out of their territory, and if you walk any further in, you might just end up attacked by them. <laughs> Could I tell if these are what made the footprints? 
Uh, they do not appear to be. They appear to be climbing in the trees, and they have, uh, with the, what feet you can see of them don't seem to correlate to the tracks that you're sure you saw. I had the idea to try to intimidate them back, but that's not going to work out well. Never mind. Maybe they'll leave us the fuck alone. Uh, how big are these things, though? Uh, they're small and they're bear-like. Small bears, okay. With so scales. We're talking oh, yeah. about the trees are they? Kind of like about the size of uh, koalas. Uh, yeah, actually, that would be a better description. Koalas with scales on them. Okay. Like I said, so, drop bears. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll drop on you, and you have to worry about more than this committee effort from from them attacking you. But yeah, they're like ten. To tw some of them are ten. Some of them are twenty feet up in the trees. God damn it! Someone's setting off fireworks. I do. We, we got idea. call lightning, so I could cast call lightning. Then Torn can cast call lightning and draw from that. Or. Or. <laughs> He's in front right now. I would say run would be. Probably Aria would be too because I'm the one who's actually, you know, pointing out the footsteps. I would be right behind. Hey. Whoever's in front, pick a direction. Stare at that direction. Everyone grab the shoulder of the person in front of you and be ready to move. They're just going to run through. Oh. Nice. Casting fog to cloud. <laughs> yep. Feel a hand on my ass, it better be Torrens. <laughs> <laughs> Torrens in well, front of you. Well, um, uh, there's a hand on my ass. It better be hers. I, I can't help it. I'm only three foot tall. I mean, at the back of my knee. She <laughs> is, is, uh, hang on. We'll probably be wrapping her, um, tail around, uh, Jasper's wrist. Not not tightly, but like once over. Uh, just seeing so that the other fur bugs wrapped his tail around you. Yep. Oh, cute. And on that cue, when I cast it, that's our cue to run. Just to dash. Get out of there. Get out of the fog where you can run. see. Would exactly you like to be that. carried by Aria? Since you only have a da uh, speed of like, what, 50, 25? Or hop up my hand and I'll throw you out of the fog. <laughs> so, which way would you like to go? Make a uh, a ping on the uh, on the direction. Let's keep heading west, right? There are two hexes that you that, you know in, in west. Yeah. Which one? I don't know. I'm asking Ren right. since he was in, in, in head of the party. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's just push on west. So which west, though, run? That was too big. Yeah. It's not possible for you guys to be slower. Mm -hmm. I mean, to, to, yeah. oh, hmm. mm. upper. Okay, upper. Right. There. Oh, okay, now now you need to get rid of that so the I can delete. <laughs> All right, I got it. Alright, so you got through the uh, the koala encounter. Darn it, get it right. They're drop bears. Please tell me y'all have heard of drop bears. Yes. No. Nope. What oh, country a, is it that they're from again? Uh, it's a cryptid in Australia. Let's just say that koalas are supposed to be the babies of them. <laughs> Upper or lower? Uh. 
Upper West or Lower West? Uh, Upper West. Alright. Um, I will also roll some perceptions. Ooh, that one sucked. That was a two for the first day there. And, oh! Well, that works out. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 24. So that would be where we're at now. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> I already have anxiety. I don't need more. Sorry. I need another die. Oh, there it is. <gasps> Great. Oh, yay! I rolled high! <laughs> I hope that's good oh, news. that's good or bad. Last time she rolled high, it was bad. This time rolling high was just how many were there. Oh, dear God. Oh, no. Uh, so, what was the perception rolls? Uh, it... You got 24. 17. Yeah total of 24 for me. We're we're done with that dice for the night. Fuck. Alright. Uh, 14. So, I heard 24. Somebody got a 24? Run yeah, got run, 24. Baby. Run. Sometime during the day, as you're making your way through the jungle towards the mountains, you hear soft, stealthy foot footsteps in the underbrush. Something is stalking you and your group. What do you do? Every move you make, every breath you take, <laughs> I'll be watching you. Can I tell what direction? All around your group. All directions. What if they're goblins? Uh, uh, um, can someone create a little bit of a fog cloud? We are, um, definitely in someone's sights. Well, you do know, just like the last time I cast it, we're at the disadvantage also. Unless we're uh, preparing to run again. I um, did also just remember that I have passed without a trace that I could cast on us, so maybe they won't be able to follow us as easily. Please. Um, let yourselves be known. Mattery is going to also call out in Goblin, like, is anyone here? There goes any sort of stealth. Still cast, co fog, cast fog cloud if we want to yeet ourselves out of here. And then use pass without a trace so they can't follow and, us. And the map just appeared, so... Um... For the dead. Yep. Oh, that is small. Yeah. Oh, we added that one. Who wants to run Noonan? Uh, I can, but I have to see if I character sheets up on roll twenty. Yeah, I can. I can actually ping out oh, and see if she's awake. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Ah, oh, damn it. We can't. That's right. Ash doesn't have a character sheet here, and we I don't have access to her character sheet, so we can't actually play when you know do a battle when she's not here. Oh. I can ping her and see if she's still up. Uh, sure. And if not, we will take. We we will start the battle next week. But yeah, coming also... in, com coming in from the underbrush around all sides of you, are turkey-sized feathered dinosaurs with massive claw four claws on sorry sorry claws on their toes, looking ready to kill. Velociraptors again? Yep. Oh, okay. She so, yeah, just asks, uh, "Do y'all need help?" It's like. 
Here's a pack of 15 velociraptors that are surrounding him. What the fuck, man? Uh, also, go ahead and add uh, my uh, little pet on there, too. Oh, you should put your pet out. Uh, just a second. I just let her know she's coming. She just needs a moment. Stop putting them out there. <laughs> There's 15 of them. I know. <laughs> yep. Well, I wonder if I can befriend one of them. You already have two, three pets now. Well, we could befriend one of them and then sell them. Or Torrent could be like, uh, no, we we sent them to a farm far away where they'd be happy. And so <laughs> just sell them to get party funds back. And Jasper just distracts Aria and walks off into the forest with her after everything's done and just like, no, we're we're going to take care of them. We're just going to send them off to a farm somewhere while Torrent's just slaughtering the last one. <laughs> You gotta make me into the bad guy. <laughs> I mean, like, you already broke Aria's heart, so. Don't I mean, break my heart. My age, you break me heart. When did I do that? Saying you didn't want to be your brother. Not what I said. That's how she understood it. He explained it out clearly to her. Like, even more thorough. Well, I rolled a natural 20. But I forgot to select the token again. Fuck's sake. Yeah, and I hadn't put out the thing yet, because I was waiting to see if, uh, if Ash was here. She's coming. Just said she need, need a second, so... ba -ding. Here's... It's what? Johnny! Okay. No, what? phones listen to us. I have a thing on my phone that it puts an ad on my lock screen and I can get points and actually like spend it on Amazon gift cards and stuff like that, but the one that pops up is of a fucking dinosaur. <laughs> I have not looked up... Mm -hmm. Anything to do with dinosaurs, and usually the ads are personalized. I hate personalized ads. Hey, Ash, you ready to join World 20 and play some Velociraptors? I mean, if you're if you're not up to it, we can we can wait to this battle some next week. Mm -hmm. I'm getting there. As we all know, you just want to jump off so you can watch the Mighty Nine uh, Vox Machina fight. <laughs> no, actually, I don't usually. I I don't. I I I I like those sort of things for role playing, not for just you know out and out fights. Oh, but the battle royales are so good. I've never seen any of the battle royales. Oh, you should watch them, especially when they get to epic level, because. <laughs> High level druids are fucking stupid broken. <laughs> yeah, no, there. Snakes are seven. Are you what? what? What level are we? We are seven. Okay. Uh, what's with the color coding? So I don't ro roll every single one of these individually. I have four groups instead. Okay. Hey, it's horrid. You know what time it is. It's call time to call lightning and back and piggyback off each other's storm. So, do you want the extra D one hundred or do you want me to take it? You mean extra D ten? Yeah. Sorry, I meant to say that. I don't know what came out of my mouth. Oh, we'll do D one hundred. That that sounds good. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, let's let's roll for the percentile dice to see who we hit. Then we roll to. Okay, we're level seven, you say? Yeah. Fuck. Roll a natural twenty for initiative, and one of them still goes before me. Oh, <laughs> well, four of them go um... before me. Oof. Well, only two of you are currently on the turn order. Hang on. I had rolled initiative before. Yeah, I rolled it and I forgot to select a token. I'll be right Oof, back. I, I like my other one better. It was 13, but that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's no, no, fine. No, you, you, can, you, you can update it manually. You yeah, still to, you still have to add your thing, so it's. I tat I I clicked my token and then I pulled, so I'm not sure war, and I can't add it manually. Right, that that's GM. Yeah. Oh great! I think popped out. Uh huh. How'd you add it? I said I hit my token, then I immediately went. Unless oh, it's in pan view. Duh. Never mind. Let's try this again. Third time's the charm, right? Right, right. Of course, right. So, do you want me to do the 13, then? Yeah, the first one? you originally got. 13. There we go. Do you want me to roll initiative? Peace. Uh, you, you sound really tired, Ash. Why don't we just wait till next week? Um, we, we, just can't, we just can't run this battle without you, since you don't have a sheet on here. And we can't access your D your D and D Beyond sheet. Well, I mean, she's on I mean, one of my can't. Okay, she... here's the thing: I got out of bed and on my computer, so it means like was kind of motivated enough. Okay. If you want to put a new one in one of my uh, campaigns, Ash. I should be able to run, be able to run him from D and D Beyond. Do you want me to go? Because I can no. go actually, if you want. No, no, I'm just saying for next, for future next time. I want you here. I want to, you know. Uh, let's see here. So, is the closet on you, run, or is it actually floating around next year? It is. Down on the ground next to me, but he is invisible currently. Okay, so uh, roll a dexterity saving throw for the closet. Because the velociraptor, the, these three velociraptors here are surrounding you. Okay, just a second here. Okay, a dex saving throw, you said? Yeah, dex saving throw for your closet to not be stepped on by a velociraptor. Okay, so... Oh. Let me make sure what... Okay, it doesn't look like he's got a proficiency in it, so it'll be a plus... Three, and that would be a thirteen. All right. So the closet kind of rolls out of the way of the velociraptor, and all three of them go in to attack you. So we got bite, claw, bite, claw, bite, claw. Oh. All at advantage. Oh, pack tactics, motherfucker. <laughs> yep. That's all on run. Okay, so first off, um, yeah, they kind of all got me. Uh, well, I don't think the first and the last one got you because your AC appears to be high enough for that, but I think the rest of the attacks got you. Yeah. So that would be a 
six, eleven, actually twelve. So how much health did you lose? That's 28 health. Alright. And now she's awake. <laughs> Jasper. Oh. Um. Hmm. Erupting Earth. And. Where are you casting it? Right here. That's All three. Right. I just want to do it this way because fuck it, I don't feel like rolling that much. I need to see the uh, the DC on that. Fifteen. Uh, All right, one of them saves. I was meant to be a whisper, but it wasn't. The other two die as they're impaled by spikes. Oh, that wasn't meant to be an advantage, but it's okay. <laughs> Anything else you wish to do, Jasper? Um, not for right now. What does the closet do? Okay. I'm going to need a wisdom save from this one. All right. Uh, that's a four. Okay, it is frightened because it can't see the source of its fear. Huh? Uh, your closet's invisible. It can't see the source of its fear. Actually, you can because uh, the invisibility uh, fades away when okay. he uses an attack. Or ah, so skin. it's not. A, it's, so it's not a, 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 It's it's not a greater invisibility. Got it. That means he is frightened. All right. Okay, that thing is currently invisible. So, uh, I forget. Frightened, they're usually paralyzed, right? No, they. Uh, no, they. They. They, they try to you. flee from the source of their. They don't get any closer to the source of their fear, and if if they can see the source of their fear, uh, they get disadvantage on attacks. Okay. Which is why I was saying that, wait a second, you can't even see your closet, so. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, the invisibility, it can go invisible at will, basically. Mm hmm But, uh, it does have a limitation, uh, just a second here. Uh... The quasit magically turns invisible until it attacks or uses scare, or until its concentration ends, as if concentrating on a spell. So basically, it's like uh, regular invisibility. All right, Noonan. Ash, mm -hmm. your turn. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear. <clears throat> what do you wish to do? I'm thinking. Give me a sec. Okay. I'm gonna cast the Cloud of Dagger. At which? Uh, you know what? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna fucking end just blast it. For now. <laughs> I 
I'm going to Eldritch Blast. Yeah, this guy. Okay. There you go. That hits. That one's dead. It's gonna be the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, run. Okay. Um. How do I do a uh a spell line or rather a cone in this case? Mm. Just the cone would let's see a cone would hit if you're not if you don't want to hit any of your part your your the other players the only one you can hit with a cone would be this one here. If you don't mind hitting Arya, you can hit this one. If you don't mind hitting. Soren and Jasper, this one over here. This one is already taken care of currently. And oh, is actually, a. Actually, 50... no, you can, I keep forgetting that you can hit diagonal, so you can probably hit both of these with the one cone. Okay, it's a 15 foot cone of. Uh, color spray we're gonna blind the tar out of them take away their pack advantage all right roll your roll your color spray take a look here it is um Oh, where are you at? There it is. Six T six D ten. So All right, so we got Dying. Okay, so that's twenty right off the bat. Okay. They are blinded. Okay. And that will be the end of my turn. All right, Thorn. Or actually, um, I have, I will use my bonus action to disengage. And then move over here. Okay. Thorn. Uh, I'm going to cast that. And I wouldn't worry about the check right now. I could put them within 15 feet of me. It's two of them. What does it look One, like? Uh, angelic. Nice. And one's going to be there. Angels sweep around. And one's going to be there. Oh, spirit guardian. Sorry, I was thinking. Yep. Uh... Yeah, this I was is uh... something else. Sorry. Yeah, it's spirit oh, no, guardians. I no, create two right. of them. A fifteen feet spear around you. It just, right. It... Well. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. It's just called for spirits. I thought there is it... literally just a number of spirits. Oh no, no, no! It, it's it, it um. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, spiritual guardians. I guess my brain's also blinking. Uh, spirit guardians can basically counts a radius of uh, if you know good things or bad things depending on your your uh, alignment. Yeah, and... it determines the damage. So if they get within within that circle, you drew. Mm -hmm. First time they enter it in a movement, or any time they start their turn, and then that they take three d eight radiant damage since yep. I am a good alignment. And I can choose any number of creatures that I see, which would be my whole party. That it's not, not affected by yeah. So these Velociraptors. Zip, zip, zip. 
this one enters into the area of the uh, of that. I need to make it a, give it a wisdom saving throw. It failed and immediately gets cut down by the uh, the spirit guardian. But these two both get to attack. Run with advantage. Run takes an additional seven damage. You've been struck by a smooth glossy raptor. So the so let's see. This one is on transgrand. ground. It's starting moving that way. It's injured. This one. Uh, let's see. This one happens to the flesh raptors are not stupid. This one saw. That one getting struck down around there, and rather than going towards towards the source of that, it is also running at run and going to attack him. Jesus. Well, <laughs> fuck. All right, guys, gnomes down. I turn and I'm and I'm about to be healing you. Yeah, that was a... Oh, yeah. All right, all right. Looking at my spells, so... All right. So... As a bonus action, um, I'm going to use Balm of the Summer Court and spend about four... So I have to roll 4d6. Four d6. Ooh, you get 7 healing plus set 4 temporary hit points to run. Okay, how do I do uh the temporary hit points? You should be able to go on to if you're using D&D Beyond. There's a, next to the HP, there's a temp. You can just add them. Well, I was talking about on here. Oh, I have no idea. You can just add straight numbers and know what, it, just keep track of your temporary HP. Okay. And you, yeah, go sorry. ahead. Or rouse to life. You recall a smell or just a sudden nostalgia of your fan made you feel safe and happy and warm. Anything else, Arya? Yeah, that that's was only my bonus action. Okay. What's All your right. action gonna be? Well, seeing that he needs some help, I'm going to cast Call Lightning. And I'm gonna aim it for these two. Like right here, so it can hit those okay. two. And I'm cast and I'm gonna go ahead and waste no, that four I'm gonna use my third level slot slot to cast it. That doesn't have advantage, so that first one definitely hits. Second one... Well, it only does five damage, which is pretty shitty. Five? It's five plus eight. No, that's the one if it's already a lightning storm going on. Oh, okay. I didn't know that... Yeah, it's hard to tell what, the, what, you know, what those each mean. So that one yeah. takes five damage, and the other one takes two damage. Yeah. Alright, that was an action, so all I have is movement... Um, I'm going to kind of, is there a way, would p be picking run up work as, uh, would that be an action, bonus action, or free action? Action. Okay, so, I'm going to put myself, um, right over here. And okay, so that one flush after the blind gets an attack of opportunity on you. All right, that misses. And that misses. And I'm going to try to, as 
can as a free action, can I make noise so hopefully I draw some attention over to me? It won't do anything for that because that requires a bonus action to try to distract. But yeah, you can make any noise you want. <laughs> Said free action. I don't. I don't know if yeah. it's going to work or not. I'm. But I'm going to kind of, uh, say, hey, hey, look at me, look at me now. I am the captain. <laughs> All right. All right. So this velociraptor comes running right at your area. Mm -hmm. uh, both those hit, so that's nine damage. Mm -hmm. And oops, I forgot about the other two here. So both of these ones also get hit by the. Can uh, Torin, can you reroll your your uh, spiritual guardians? So I see how much damage plus uh, the saving throw I need again. All right. It was fourteen. Well, that the damage was 14 before. No, 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 it's a new damage. It's a new roll. Okay. Every, every time it's a new roll. Uh, so, yeah, those two just die. Uh, now roll again, please. Your damage. As those two are cut apart. Alright. That's not advantage. Let's see. One fails outright. The other two save. So the um, the one that's screaming it's is attempting to attack you, noon uh sorry. Trying to attack you, um, Torin. That fails. Uh these ones go running out of the out of the blender. Uh, one of them is going to attempt to attack Arya. The other one is going to attempt to attack uh, the gnome. <laughs> gnome takes his t the gnome no. is, run they takes his know. eight damage. You lose all your temporary hit points and take additional damage on there. As the while still blind, the, the, the injured, the velocity driver still manages to make contact with you and is just digging its claws and teeth into your body. Yeah, real quiet. Jasper. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Alright, firstly, going to, I'm um, a shape thing, but thing over here to, and coming over here to run, wounds, because God knows he fucking needs it, at level two. The gnome must be tasty. I mean, that's the only thing I can figure. <laughs> Take it as a compliment, I guess. You're their size. You know, you're the weakest. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're the smallest of the group, and therefore the the, the turkey-sized velociraptors are piling on you. The yeah, predator right. always goes after the smallest and weakest of the group first. Mm -hmm. So you got 12 back, and... They're smart predators. Bonus action, getting pissed start fucking snarling and it turns into a wolf snarl and I'm going dire wolf. Oh. Can't delete my own token off of the board. Yeah, don't delete it because that would then destroy your, your turn order. Yeah, well, there you go. Big ass dire wolf right next to run. Alright. What does the closet do? <laughs> just love that name <laughs> closet <laughs> it's like a little kid trying to say closet it's cute <laughs> little demon friend <laughs> he, he turns into a he's going to use his action to return into a blink dog e dog uh, give me now you see him no, you don't. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. I'm sorry, shall I leave? Okay. 
<laughs> yes, you sexy beastie. <laughs> okay. Uh... Okay, so I... What was the... And use an action to polymorph. Okay, so. You used your action. What else would you like to do? Well, since I've used the action. Uh, I will say that he will use the bonus action to... Okay, we'll go and move this token over here. And then he's going to blink there. And that will end that turn. That will give uh, Arya flanking. Or do we have flanking here? We have done it before. Okay. Of course. Well, okay. Well, Arya now has flanking on at least one. So that will end that turn. So I believe it would be new ones now. Ash, it's on you. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna use. And let's see, Velociraptor gets an attack of opportunity on you. Yep. Yep, that's the first one. So yeah, three piercing that's... as it swipes a claw. It's it, sorry, as it bites you. Actually, shit, um, for honesty's sake, the one that I passed to get to run probably would have got an attack of opportunity on me, and I don't remember you saying that it did. Yeah, that means it's it's still had a rea action, reaction. That... Yeah, the one that's in front of Torin, because I had to pass it to get to him. Oh, no, never mind. That, never mind. You didn't take that damage, Nin, and uh, I forgot that one did have an attack of opportunity already. You used it on Arya. I forgot. My bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, wait. No, no. yes, it did get the attack of opportunity on you. Sorry, what am I thinking? <laughs> its turn came up again after Arya's turn. So that means the attack of, the attack of opportunity reset, which means you do take three damage. I'm so sorry. Dude. Okay. No, you don't. I'm going to cast Eating Word on the gnome. Ren's just getting all the attention. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so run you keep getting healed. Anything okay. else? Uh so that is five more. Anything else, Ash? No, I said it was the end of my turn. Okay, sorry, I didn't hear it. Okay. Run. The gnome is pissed. Extremely. He's going for a... He's going the distance. Okay. We have... Okay. Boom! 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'm believing in 19 hits. 
Which one are you attacking? Okay. And the damage? Give me just a second. Wario, get down from there. Come here, baby. Okay, so just for the short sword by itself is five, six, seven, eight, nine. And right. then nine, then it's dead. Ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I cut its head off then. Yes, you did. Because I was just about to add the sneak, da sneak damage because of where it was at. Okay, well. I will. <laughs> Well, shoot. Can't really hide. Gonna hide behind the big ass wolf. This yeah, is you, true. You, there's no there's no place to hide because the lost raptors would all attack you if you tried to. That's also true. Yeah. yeah, I'd have to disengage. Which I can disengage. Ah, that's true. Good point. You got rogue abilities. Mm-hmm. You could say peace out and hop on the wolf's back. That's true. They won't be able to reach you on top of my back. <laughs> right, let's go, go with last time you disengaged, you you ran into a whole pack more of them and got taken down. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to weigh my options here. Um, okay, yeah, I think I will disengage and come up here. So that way I'm still at least near someone that can heal me. <laughs> so that'll end my turn. Okay. Uh, hey, Torin, there is a call lightning going on, so... Torin, what do you wish to do? I'm putting the hammer down. Maybe. Unfortunately, the small turkey-like creature that uh, manages to dodge out of the way of your hammer. Honey, we're swinging down. Does that make sense? Anything else? Only action. Let's see if Anthony can use as a bonus action. Mm. Grizz, question? Sure. The big ass wolf can move through ally spaces, but can I do that as a wolf and move through new one space? Uh, sadly, you're a bit too big. Okay. I figured as much. Wanted to make sure. So, anything else, uh, Torin? Mm, it looks like it's going to be it. All right. All right. So, in order to so Okay. So, you're not seeing what they were snacking on. Uh, the blue Velociraptor is going to go after Noonan. Uh, Noonan, you take six points of damage. Okay. See any more blues down there? Nope, that's the only one. Next one is orange. 
Orange Velociraptor seeing what the blue one's doing, groups up with it, and also attacks Noonan. You take another six points of damage. Yeah. Arya. Alright. Oh, and this one over here runs off by itself into the forest. Alright. Thinking, I can't really call cast lightning right now. Um. I mean, like, I could, but there's. Cast it right. Alright, so I'm gonna have call lightning hit right here. My bonus action. <laughs> okay. That's just within five feet. Do you want me to re roll the damage? Or does yeah, you have take... to re roll the damage every time. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. It's gonna hit me. No, shouldn't. It? That's why exactly why I had it hit right here and not right here. And hey, if you need to go for it. <laughs> so, 3d10. 21. Woo, that's much nicer. Yeah. And since that's more, th th that's even half of that would kill it, it I don't even need to, ro to roll for the saving throw. Alright, that was my bonus action. All right, so I'm gonna look to this one and I and which one? Uh, so this guy. Okay. And let's see. I'm going to probably hit it with um. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm seeing it as attacking with its claws, so I'm gonna uh to lash out of my own claws, which primal side. And cast Primal Savagery on myself. Alright, that misses. Uh, damn. Alright, that's all I got. Okay. Uh, so, the red one. The red one's gonna turn around and jump at your face, Arya. <laughs> Seven points of damage. Okay. And then the green one. Uh, Torin, can you re roll your spiritual guardians, please? Yeah. And the one that, that was screaming because of the closet, uh, it's, it gets pounded on by the, the guardians and dies at your feet. Well, the blind one is attempting to hit Noonan. And Noonan takes another five damage. Jasper. I'm going for the little orange fucker down below Nguyen. And I get advantage because he is within five feet of it. Yep. Roll fucking pins on both of them with the 15 hit. Yes, 15 hits. Okay. And 26. That would be six damage. Six damage? All right. You get a mouthful of feathers and some blood. But it is still alive and kicking. Okay. I don't think I have any bonus actions I can do as a wolf. Hmm. I get one bite. What does the closet do? Or just Dude, wait, I oh. lied. That would have been nine damage because I forgot the plus three. Alright. Okay. He is going to bite the one that is between... Him and Arya, so that would be advantage. Red dot, got it. And that is uh, 18, 19, 20, 21 to that hit. That hits, yep. Okay, so it is a D4 plus, or D6 plus 1. And that is, ooh, that's a 7. All right. Anything else? Um, nope, he will stay right there. All right. Noonan. How about, how about his, uh, run? Uh, physician, heal thyself. So he's not wounded. He's wounded, but so are you. You've, you've been you've been hurt a bunch. 
Yeah, uh, I got uh, I got over half my hit points, so I'm good right now. Which one attacked Daria? The uh, red the one. One you can't reach, the red one. I'm gonna cast the cloud of dagger on him. All right, if you if you wish. Well, it won't touch Aria. Uh, actually, I think I ruled on it before that anything around it also gets hit. So yeah, cloud daggers would not be good in tight quarters. Uh, yeah, especially with. Oh, uh, that would have been interesting to know that. Are you blasting the red one? If, if so, it's a, it's a disadvantage. You're surrounded by enemies, I think. Unless that only counts for melee, for, for non-magical weapons? Okay, then I'm doing nothing. Because it's a missile. It's it's a missile weapon. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. I'm doing nothing. Skip my turn. It's not a skip your turn. Just roll another d20. Uh, that's a 12. Yeah, you're good. So, how much damage does it do? Alright, that one's dead then. Run. Alright. So. Let's go for the green one. And that is a... Ooh, nice. Very, very, very nice. I rolled a 19, so I don't even think I need to add my modifier to it. What, 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 you're using crossbow, right? No, I was using uh, short sword. Uh, then you need to move, yeah. Yeah. All right, you rolled a 19. So how much damage are you doing? Okay. That is a six just for the short sword itself. <laughs> And that's another decapitation you've done. <laughs> uh, well, guys, I think we're going to eat good tonight. Um, and that'll do it for my turn. All right. Torin. Muted, bud. If you're trying to talk, they're all within range of me. Who are you healing? That's mass healing words. That's okay. Oh, so okay. And that's gonna be it for me. All right. So let's see. The blue one is attacking Noonan again. Noonan takes nine damage. The other one also take takes on Noonan. Noonan takes an additional nine damage. Are you still up, Noonan? Unfortunately, yes. All right. I was just double checking. Arya. All right. I'm going to attack this one. With, uh, primal salvage, salvagery. Miss. Miss. Bonus wow, you have a huge bonus on oh, on that. It's wow, bad rolls on this. Yeah. Anything else? Um. Full section. No. All right, Jasper. Orange fucker, come here. <laughs> Yep, rolled a natural 19 for that one, so... Alright, I I'm... don't even bother rolling damage. It had one hit point left. It's dead. Mm. You pick it up in your mouth, you shake it, and feathers go everywhere. 
Put it back down. Crush its head. <laughs> and, yep, that's the turn. Closet. Closet goes blank. And he will do a bite attack. And that is a 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, that hits. Okay, and it is a uh, 1d6 plus 1. So that's 4 damage. All right. Noonan. Uh, I guess I'm going to swing at it. Swing for the fences. And sadly, that misses. Do Anything else? All right. Run! Wait a minute. Uh, don't... Doesn't Ash get an advantage on that? Oh, yeah. Ash, you get advantage on that. So roll okay. again, please. That's a 14, that hits, and because it only has one hit point left, it is dead. Dead, feathered bodies of Velociraptors are scattered everywhere. And I think that is a good place to stop for the night. Since people are tired. And it is 11 o'clock. Yes. Alright, bye. <laughs> Poor Ash. Well, that was the upper exit, I guess. Alrighty. Boy, the 